Oh man, what an awesome, awesome looking egg. Dude, I love this. This is going to be so cool. Oh my goodness. Seriously, best present I could ever get. A mutated red Uteranus baby. It looks like an alpha, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, you are just insane. You are gorgeous. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, playing here on the Modded Aberration Alpha Tribe server. So much fun, guys! Thank you for coming and hanging out, joining me on these adventures. As you always do, please remember, show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. That's right, and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc awesomeness. Man, oh man, speaking of awesome, last episode, we had quite a bit of awesome. We got the first alpha, or not alpha, aberrant thylacolio. It's so crazy cool, leveled up to over 1,300 super speed demon so very fun can climb just like a normal thylacolio and i believe most of these aberrant ones i believe their deal is they're actually a little bit smaller than a normal vanilla one among having other awesome cool colors but abilities are just about the same so very cool i dig it i love it we also got an awesome god quads by the way we'll be naming the thyla today as well as the super amazing god quads this guy is no joke, absolutely no joke. And the first flyer that we've been able to have on the server, so very cool. Look at this bad boy. We took him down into the hazard zone, which he actually fared quite well. Took almost no damage whatsoever. But man, what an awesome, crazy cool creature. It's so much fun being able to fly around here. So very cool. Anyway, today, why don't we check out, by the way, we made this awesome tech base, and we also did a clone of the Thylacolio. Yeah, or at least attempting to do a clone. It's still going. It's got days upon days left. Look at this. 21 days left. That is craziness. Who has time for this? Apparently, I went and I talked to the mod author of the um, aberrant creatures, and he said it's actually a vanilla arc thing. Yeah, wild card, uh, they're, uh, something's off on their numbers for the Thyla, and that's even in vanilla, apparently. I've never tried to clone one before, but he said that it would be fixed in the next major update for his mod, so pretty cool. Hopefully, we may have to end up stopping that clone, but it should cost way less as well as go way faster. So, pretty, pretty neat. Um, other things going on, yes, at the end of the last episode, I also talked about this glitch. It just happened. I logged in and all of a sudden all my armor but my headpiece is just like blueprints. It's crazy, but I still get the armor value from all of them. And what's kind of amazing is I actually get unlimited flight. Like it never runs up as long as I have an element in my inventory. Check this out. If I take the element out and I try and fly, see it requires element to function. Okay, well normally you'd take an element and you put it on your armor piece but as long as I have it in my inventory I can fly forever it lasts forever and I think it might even be unbreakable believe it or not so I mean talk about an OP glitch it's really glitched in our favor we did lose the armor it is gone it's not a thing that we can have but um yeah so kind of kind of debating what I should do I when I crafted up a new set of armor that's even better and I have everything from my inventory dumped out. But apparently you guys said the fix for this is I got to kill myself. Which is easier said than done if you have armor that doesn't break. And uh, yeah, it, it's, it can be pretty tough. So I found the only way to get kill myself. Which I know some people might decide I should not do this because I have the best armor in the world. Well, I just, in case there's some other type of glitch or something, I just, I think it would be better off if we let herself drown and yeah, start fresh, start fresh. Hopefully this works. So we will have a look, see oxygen is almost gone. Come on, buddy, bro. And it takes a hot second, but yeah, I think it's something we need to do. All right, all right. This is probably the fastest way to kill yourself. Definitely, definitely in modded, just drown yourself. All right, going through, going through, cause man, does it pull through that health? Look at that, even having over 2000 health. All right, almost done, because it's definitely, it's a percentage thing. It's a percentage game. 
And almost done, almost done. Blech. I haven't died in so long, too. That's like the first time, and it's an intentional thing. All right, let's go ahead and clone back at our tech pod. Respawn, and hopefully all that shenanigans, yes, is off of us. Perfect. Now, just to see, let's use our gravestone to recover the corpse. We got the one element, and we got our alpha specimen. That's cool. That's the first time. The first time that I've got to see it after dying. That is crazy cool. So because we beat uh, Rockwell, we get all that shenanigans. It's pretty neat. Pretty neat indeed. All right, let's go ahead and dump all this stuff out. Dump, 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 dump. And let's do something kind of fun. Let's go. Let's get all of our gear back on. All right. Get in the gear. And I, the next thing that made that stuff even more OP is you're able to put armor on top of your armor. I mean, come on now, that's too, that's just too good. I couldn't, I couldn't live with myself doing that. That would have been too good. All right, so we got all of our armor back, all of our items back. Sweet. Let's go see if we can find our body. I'm curious. I'm just curious. Does it still have, it still has all the armor on. That's so funny. Can we drag it? Can we drag it and bring it to our base and have like a little, little, uh, yep, drag body. Am I dragging? Am I, oh, yes, I'm dragging. I'm dragging. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, going too fast. All right, look at the ragdoll and look at that. We we just have a D-Mac just chilling there, just floating in the air. It's kind of silly. I know. I'm just going to leave it there. Eventually it will despawn, but that is that is kind of cool. Definitely kind of cool. I can't drag him. It's too hard to get to. Anywho, for today, for today's order of business, um, I'd like to finish getting more aberrants. We have a couple more that I'm very, very interested in. So let's just see what we want to do. I want to get the aberrant Eutoranus would be cool. Aberrant Terrorbird would be cool. Yeah, so let's just let's go to one of those. I'll, I'll see if I can find one of those. I should have saddles for both of them. We'll see which one we come across first. And bada boom, bada boom. What'll we find? What'll it be? I just don't know, but I'll meet you there. All right, guys, and hot pursuit of a Eutoranus. Man, I've never seen one here in Aberration before. This is going to be interesting. Super duper interesting. Based on our locator, it should just be right up and around here. Somewhere around here. I don't know. I'm definitely not seeing one. And if we did see one, they definitely would be super hostile. We'd hear roaring. We'd, we'd see it trying to wreck everybody wreck all the face where the crap is you bro where in the crap is you i'm i'm not seeing it i'm not seeing it so we want to be at like 50 26 we actually passed where it would be i think it's 55 uh 50.5 and then 26 all right eastward no eastward bro eastward i said yeah it should just be right up here what in the crap where where is you at? Where is you at? Do you see one? Because I certainly don't see one. Oh, this is interesting. Could it be up more? Could could it be like up there? It definitely could be. I think I think I think we need to pull out our uh, railgun and use some of our super crazy technologies. Yeah, it should just be right around here. We're at fifty one, so we really should be going north a little bit let's just go north a little bit it should just be right around here where the crap i certainly do not see one certainly certainly yeah they'd be roaring their head off and going crazy nutball oh <gasps> no i know i think this is actually where the cave is dude they're totally in the cave that's totally what it is oh man it's totally what it is that's why we couldn't find it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, let's go ahead into the cave. All right. Will you be okay out here, Shadowstalker? Okay. Shadowstalker will be okay. You'll be okay, bro. This is weird because you definitely wouldn't be able to get it out of the cave. I mean, if you have S plus, you know, we got teleporters and all that shenanigans. All right. We see he's sensing somebody at max level. Something's at the max level. You see anything, guys? All right, let's turn on our shenanigans. 
All right, picking up stuff. We got our shotgun on us, so we should actually be okay. Let's do a little a little survey of the area. All right, what are we seeing? What are we seeing? Oh my goodness, all sorts of big, huge things. All sorts of sketchiness. But I'm still not picking out you Tyrannus. Not seeing it yet. Oh, better hope that we can actually tame this dude, though. All right, actually, oh my goodness, we got... We got spite. Oh, lordy, lord, lordy. Go, go, go. Oh, man, look at all the ravagers and all the shenanigans. All right, can we pick anything out? The Krabby sees us. I'm still not seeing anything that would resemble a Euteranus. So, I mean, it's possible it's not in the cave, but... This is kind of what I would think for our cords. Let's take a look at our cords. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Yeah, so it'd be... This is like right where it needs to be, but we need to go more south. We need to go more south. All right, let's go around this way. The cave definitely goes around more south. Holy crap, look at all this shenanigans. Look at all this shenanigans. I might have already even seen it. All right, so continue. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. It should be somewhere in this room. I, th I think so. I think so. Let's just get everybody to get... Hop off the ledge. Carno, are you... What is your major malfunction, bro? Huh? Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Reload, bro. Oh, oh. Get it. Bammy. All right. I'm not seeing it, but man, is this super sketchy. I want it so bad, though. I want it so bad. All right. Another surveil the area. Surveillance. I see the crab. I see. I, I can pick out just about everything, but I'm not seeing a U Tyrannus. All right, guys. I can't believe it. I found it. It is in here. It is in here. All right. Just trying to melt the last little shenanigans that will cause us problems. Ooh, that was a 580. All right. Check this out. Feast your eyes on this. All right. All right. Right. Where is it? U Tyrannus. I just saw it. Oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. Oh, this is awesome. So we got a couple Carnos around it. Let's see what other shenanigans is over here. It definitely not in the safest of places. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, man. He's making everybody all afraid of him and everything. All right. So this might be a little bit complicated. I'm going to have to kill off all the other dudes that are in this area that could attack him. Oh, yeah. These are his minion Carnos, I think. Oh, crap. I thought I had, like, a super through-the-rock shot. I thought that was a thing. What's going on with that? Ooh. Oh, no ammo? What the crap? Do I not have more element? <gasps> oh, no. That's not good. That is not good at all. That means we, we don't have much flight left. All right. It's okay. That's okay. So here's going to be our... Oh, man, there's all sorts of badness here. All right, here's our strategy. We're going to knock out the Carnos. There we go. All right, knocked out. What the crap are we going to do? There's more... There's fishies in here. All right, that might be the perfect spot to actually knock them out. Now that I think about it. All right, come on, 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 come on. Choo. All right, doing well. Doing well. Let's Let's have a look. Ooh, this guy has pretty good resistance. Definitely a pretty good resistance. The Torpor is still climbing. Still climbing. Come on, buddy, bro. All right. That's it. That's good because he's making everything... Oh, crap. Making everybody else afraid. Oh, man. This is not good. This is not good. We don't want him to get knocked out in there. We got to get him brought... Oh, crap. Brought over here. All right, get knocked out. Yeah, because there's a gator in there, maybe? I don't know. It's hard to tell. All right. Yep, yep. That's it. Get afraid that way. Perfect. Perfect. Stay in there. No, don't come around. Uh, we can't knock him out until we handle all this. Until we handle all this shenanigans. All right. Let's go. Let's handle it. Handle our biz. Handling our business. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. No. No, no, no. Spider. Spider. No good. Oh, crap. And I think our guy might be down. 
All right. God, that's an OP spider. I ever saw one. 580. All right, what else do we got up here? All right, spiders are done. You're done. Who uh, I hear? I hear music. Oh, I thought I got you already, bro. I thought I had you. I thought it was a thing. All right, Anis, are you Tyrannus down? Yeah, he's down. Holy crap. All right, so it's a 540. Not bad. They take the Kentro Kibble. Let's uh, do this. Let's just make sure he's at 100%. And he didn't get hit. Yep, 100%. Taman, Taman. What a beautiful thing. And shabam. We got him. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. 809, not a bad level. And let's get the saddle on. Sweet. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this. Aberrant Uteranus. I love him. I love him. Yeah, baby. Look at that roar. What about this one? Yes. That is so cool. That is so very cool. All right. Let's just go ahead and get some meats for us. And we're going to have to teleport out of here if we want to be able to bring this guy home. That's interesting. So the Uteranus was designed, if you're playing this more or less vanilla, which is what these aberrants are meant for, um, you would never be able to get this guy out of the cave. So interesting let's go to the community center but hey we're gonna get to what an awesome awesome creature and hopefully more will spawn in but they're rare they're super rare even in that cave they are super duper rare all right guys have a look see at this baby gorgeous absolutely gorgeous pretty dark in color most of the aberrants of these remade aberrants are definitely darker in color just to fit in to blend in to camouflage with aberration better and as far as camouflaging in it fits to the t i would definitely like cooler colors but they wouldn't fit in it wouldn't it would not be normal so on that note anyway to clone this bad boy it will require i think it's forty eight thousand, something like that let's have a look and 42,800, really not gonna be that bad. Probably gonna be about an hour to clone. I would I would assume dish much, can, can we see? Yeah, one hour, not bad. So we might be able to have babies today. That would be super duper cool. All right, let's go test this thing out. And again, it is not a perfect 600, but they're rare. They're hard to find. They're only in that cave. So we'll, we'll be looking for them. I don't want to stop until we found a 600, but they're just not there right now. Anyway, stat-wise, starting off, 20, almost 26,000 health to boot. That's amazing. 5,000 stamina plus. Amazing. 1,670 weight. Amazing. And melee, 1,175. Doesn't get much better until you put in the max level potions. Let's get it up to 499. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's get this guy maxed out. Of course, before we get him maxed out, we got to see what he actually hits for. Got to see what that first raw unleveled hit is just to get a feel for how powerful it's going to be. Let's see here. All right. We got our first victim. Come here, brosy. Come here. All right. And that's pretty powerful. That's more powerful than a thylacolio that is for sure all right let's do some of our roars all right let's get it afraid does that do any more look at that now it's doing a thousand when we got the roar on it that is crazy town that is some serious serious crazy town firepower look at that i love how these guys are so light on their feet they're so nimble they don't look like they're like smacking down they look like they're on their tippy toes and they're just like bouncing so gracefully really is a beautiful looking creature oh man but that roar is just unreal all right let's start to boost him up let's get that 255 all right gentlemen we are doing pretty gosh darn well we are at 250 so let's get it to one two three four and five 255 the highest attack that you can boost before it would reset in a server restart. And Bablamy, 200 movement speed. We still have 144 levels to spare. We'll have to figure out, probably gonna go into health unless we need more speed. But look at that, just the walking speed, how much better that is already. Look at the sprint. Oh my goodness, and hit for 18,000. 
Oh my goodness, that is so good. That is so incredibly good. All right, look at we got some tear birds over here. Let's do a little roar. Let's get some peeps afraid of us. Oh yeah, now let's see how much we hit for. And come on, come on, come on. Are you attacking, bro? Bam! Twenty-seven thousand. That's nuts. That is so powerful. That puts this guy like in par. It puts him definitely in par with some of our bigger heavy hitters. Oh my goodness. And that roar too, does that do anything more? 13,000. This roar, actually those guys were mate boosted. Hold on, hold on. Look at, they're afraid, the little wimps. 18,000 and ba bammy, 27,000. I love it. That's like, that, that's very impressive. It is extremely impressive. This is a very, very powerful creature. That is for sure. Ooh, what level Thyla? Always, always looking for better Thylas. Bigger and better. 440, that's pretty good. Not good enough for me, bro. Not good enough for me. Get afraid. Bam, 27,000. I love it. Absolutely adore this dude. Yeah, so we can't go any higher on the attack. The speed? I think the speed feels good. I I think right there it it feels like it's as fast as it needs to be. So yeah, let's let's pour it on in to that health. Oh, one last thing. How does the stamina go on this guy? I mean, we have baller stamina already. Um, it goes down a little bit, but it's really not that bad. When he does the roars, is a possibility. No, it's still pretty good. I still, I think that's good. Plenty, plenty good. Yeah, for sure. For sure, plenty, plenty good. Let's pour it into health. Oh man, it's just 10 more levels to go. We might hit a million. Oh my, yes, and we did it. We hit the million. Oh my goodness, that is so crazy good. So we even have a few more stats. Let's just throw a few into weight. Get it to that even 2,000. I love it. This guy is so amazingly awesome. Kabami, not bad. Clean million. It is going to be an amazing aberrational, aberration creature. It doesn't have a jump, which definitely hinders it in this rocky area. For sure, but I mean, a Carno doesn't have a jump either. And it definitely handles better, better than a Carno. I'm trying to see how it feels going over rocks and such. And it's kind of it definitely even the littlest rocks get some get some hiccuped. So you got to be careful. By the way, isn't this hilarious? Look at our little light bird gets the afraid meter, too. It's funny. All right. Let's see for a fall now. How much damage is this going to do? And oh, that did like half that. That was pretty significant. Of course, with the Dinoid X, it's not that big of a deal. And stamina does go down. We could have put a few boosts into stamina if you're sprinting for a real long time. But man, I dig this guy. I definitely think he has his place here. And you know, I think it, I think it's a fun new type of creature and you get stuff that's attacked. I wonder if this would work on rock drakes. <gasps> think about that for a moment. You go to steal rock drake eggs. You do the roar and they get afraid of you and they don't attack you anymore. Do you think this is how it would work? Oh, I totally feel like that could be a cool thing. It would be a little... Let's see how bit bad the radiation is too. All right. Um, oh man, this guy's going to be a pain in the butt to get down there. Yeah, he does. I don't think he takes radiation. Oh, that is... Wait. Yeah, he's not taking radiation. That is super duper cool and handy. Oh my goodness. Very, very super duper cool and handy. All right, do your little poo, bro. Do your poo. Oh man. So let me see if I can find my way down to a rock drake den. He certainly got speed. Speed is on his side. Yeah, I'm not going to make that jump. Not going to make that jump. But I just, I got to see what happens when, when drakes aggro at us. This could be very interesting. All right, I think I have a rock drake den just right up here. So why don't we go all the way down and then I'll just hop off of him. I think this would be our best course of action and hop off. All right, good enough, good enough. Won't take any fall damage then. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we are in a rock drake area. All right, so let's see if we can find an egg. 
to get a whole bunch of them aggroed at us. I mean, we have tons of health. We have over a million health. So it shouldn't be an issue. Um, we've got a Lighty Pet for Nameless, so that shouldn't be an issue. Um, let's go see if we can find an egg. Is there any eggs in here? There were so many eggs yesterday, and all of a sudden there's no eggs. What the crap, bro? Where's, where's all your eggs? Don't you like to lay eggs? Don't you like that to be a thing? Oh, man, this, this is a little problematic. Need eggs if I want to do a task. All right, let's 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 see if we can find one. All right, we're in business now, bros. Holy crap. Just this this one little thing right here, it's stealing all the eggs. All right, what do you got? 240, 200. I know it don't matter, but there's this many eggs. I might as well look to see if there's a good one. Again, oh yeah, 700. 700, got it, got it. All right, come on, brosy. Come on, come here, come here. Oh, come, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. All right, all right, all right, and... Holy crap, holy crap, oh, this problems, this problems, move, 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 come on, come on, oh man, all right, he's doing his roars, dude, look at him whoop their butts, that's funny, they're going after him, all right, where are you, bro, oh, I need to get mounted, I need to get mounted, I need to get mounted, this was a dumb idea, all right, phew, all right, now I can just sit here and do roars, all right, so they're aggroing ass, come on, do your roar, get him afraid. Yeah, look at it, look at it, and he's afraid. Now he's not attacking us and he's running away. You dummy. Oh, does it not work on you? When they're invisible, it doesn't work on them. What? Oh, no, there we go, there we go. Yup, yup, come on. Come on. Let's get him afraid, all right? It's almost got the full meter on him. Almost, almost, come on. Yeah, look at it, look at it. He's afraid he's running away. Oh, this is so cool. He's still kind of attacking me, though, even, even with that shenanigans. Come on. Get him, get him. Yeah, so not it, it's not working quite as well as I had hoped, and they're smart. They go after my butt. They definitely go after my butt, get wrecked. Yeah, so not quite as handy as I thought it would be, but it's still pretty handy. It's still neat to even see that that happens. I would love to see a Reaper get afraid of us, though. That would be funny. That would be super funny. But yeah, these bigger animals, they definitely take more roars to get, um, to get afraid and run away. All right, come on. Come on. Doing it, doing it. All right, one more. Actually, he's kind of afraid now. Yup, look at it. Look at him. Oh, man, you get the crap out of here. Get the crap out of here. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? You run away. You run away from me. I'm the biggest and the baddest. Oh, man. All right. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I dig him. I dig him. I like him. I definitely like him for aberration. Really, really awesome addition. All right, let's go back home. Let's go back home. All right, guys, and super awesome news. Our clone has a finish. That's right. Come on, cloney clone. Let's go. Oh, man, so much better. So much better. I got to get a saddle for it. I forgot to make one. Come on. All right, we'll just get her to follow us up. Come on, come on. Dudes, we're going to be able to do some breeding today for the Uteranus. That is cool. It'd be super cool if we could get an awesome colored mutation. We'll see how it goes. We could always color them, but I kind of don't like to do that yet. At least not for the originals. All right, all right. You coming this way? Come on this way. Can you make it up? Oh, you're doing so good. Don't you worry. I'll get you a saddle. Is it just me? This one looks different than the other one. I don't remember there being that much white on it. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm just crazy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Make it. Make it. Make it. You got this? Yes. And we got it. We got it. All right, beautiful. So our clone is also female. Yep, because the other one we have is a female. All good in the hood. Let's go ahead, go down, and let's get, hopefully, I'll not allow breeding. We got to swap gender. All right, let's go ahead, do that charge. And, and, blame me. All right, so it should have swapped gender if all went well. We'll go and check that in just a moment. Let's go get our other one. Yeah, I had white too. I just didn't notice it. 
It's probably because it's nighttime. It's probably like the glowy part of it. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Dude, did you not get a swap gender? Did it not to happen? You should have a little thing above you. No, it didn't swap gender. What the crap, man? What the crap? All right. I got to back it off again. Let's go get a saddle for him, too. Just, it definitely needs to be a thing getting a saddle. All right, guys. Back with the saddle. Super duper sweet. Let's go ahead and throw it on this little lady. There you go. And you know what? I figured it out why it wouldn't swap genders. Look at Ready to mate in four, three, two, one. Ba Miami. Enable wander into mate. This was at like almost two hours. Oh, I had to sit and wait for it just to go down. But the gender swap, so you see right here, will not work on any dino with a mating cooldown or that has been granted random gender by mutator. How much of a pain in the butt is that? So I had to sit and wait for it. I don't know. I guess the clones now have that. It, it never had that in the past, so I'm not sure what the crap is going on. Let's let's just see. Hopefully it's not. Okay, good. It made it a male. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Let's go get it. I had to move the uh, the other one way far away just so that it wouldn't swap gender too. All right, coming on in, coming on in, beautiful. All right, so we got it swapped. Let's go ahead, mutation pulse and mutation pulse. Beautiful, as soon as they have that, they shouldn't move anymore. Beautiful. Yep, both got double mutation pulse. Let's go ahead and do behavior. Enable wandering. And let's do behavior. Enable wandering. Awesome, and we should start to see, yes, a baby. Now, I'm positive these guys lay eggs. So we shouldn't have to stress it that much, but I'll see you when the egg is being laid. All right, here we go, 99.3, and kabam, a beautiful, look at that awesome looking egg. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's turn them off, wander. Behavior, disable, wandering, and behavior, disable, wandering. Awesome. All right, let's get in to our little breeding area. Should be good. Nope, nope, nope. Over here, over here. Awesome. And you know what? We can throw this egg into one of our nifty, uh, very cool egg incubators, I mean to say. Yes, that's what I said. All right, 99%. Let's just let it count down. I'll see you guys back once it's ready to hatch. All right, guys, it is basically done. It's got an egg health or an egg incubation of two left. Let's just go ahead, do the rest of it down here. Oh, man, this is going to be awesome. A little Uteranus baby. How much time? Oh, eight seconds, eight seconds. Oh, man, what an awesome, awesome looking egg. Dude, I love this. This is going to be so cool. Oh, my goodness. Dude, no joke, I did not do that. I have nothing to do with that. It's just, oh, oh my, oh crap. No, 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 you dumb bird. Oh, our dumb bird, he's the one that did it. Oh no, we might not get the boost. <laughs> we might not get the imprinting. Hopefully we still do, but there's a chance we won't. Oh man, all right, hold on, little baby. L little, little baby. No, it says imprinted by King Daddy DMAC. All right, so that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and do behavior. Oh, it's already off wander. I love you, you little bird. You're so cool like that. Yeah, our our little let me let me show you. Let me show you the guy. We did an episode on him. Yeah, this guy right here, you little snake butt. This is the dude that went and he basically uh, imprints on the eggs for you, turns it off wander automatically. It's super awesome. Totally love it. We need to get him some meat though. It should feed the baby though too. So I actually wouldn't necessarily have to put meat into him. I do love it, I do love it. But yeah, as I was saying, that's a mutation guys. That red is a mutation. This is like, I would have colored him up otherwise. Oh man, it is so crazy cool. I am so pumped. This is like the best present I could ever get. Seriously, best present I could ever get. A mutated red Uteranus baby. It looks like an alpha, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, you are just insane. You are gorgeous. Absolutely breathtakingly stunning. I love it. 
Oh, the absolute best ever. What level do we end up getting? Hold on. 813. Not bad. Not bad in the least. It is a male, which is perfect. It can breed with the parents again. And yeah, random mutation, which we which gave us that red that is so baller. And look at the uh, the mother is only 809. So 813 actually is a boost upward, like a pretty substantial boost upward. I love it. So we can give care to it in 43 minutes. However, our uh, our little birdie bird right here should be uh, doing all the care and everything we need for the imprinting. We actually don't even have to do anything. It'll do it all for us. Oh, I love it. I love it, guys. Oh, my goodness. What an awesome, awesome day. It, it really doesn't get much better than this. It is so cool. Oh, alpha red. So, yeah, we're going to keep breeding these guys. Just because, look at it. It looks like a little devil, don't it? It's got the little devil horns. Oh, man. It's just the most gorgeous looking creature I ever seen. Aberrant Uteranus. So very cool. Anyway, guys, I'm I'm pumped. I'm so happy. This is just the best present ever, 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 ever. All right. Anyway, guys, um, yes, it is that time. We have to go name the dinos. So I'll be right back. Let me go through the comments, and we will return. All right, guys, just finished going through the comments, and what awesome names. Totally awesome names. So, 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 for today, we're naming the Quats. Let's go do that first, and then the Thyla. So, for the Quats, we named our Mosa Poseidon. You guys said, definitely go with Zeus. I think that's so super fitting for our flying god, air god. Oh, man, I love it. I know Zeus, we actually have a, another dino named Zeus, but that's okay. It is okay. It is super cool. I love it. Zeus will do. Very, very cool. And then for Athyla, Black Panther was the top voted name, but it didn't look black. I thought it looked more like a Blood Panther. So what do you guys think about that? I thought it was a pretty cool and suiting name. Definitely, definitely. And then for next episode, we got named the baby. Oh man, this is my favorite baby ever. And what an awesome mutation. I really didn't think it was possible to go red like this. I suppose it's possible because of the Christmas update, but I mean, that's over. So yeah, just random baller mutation. Seriously, amazing. Absolutely stunning. So we got to name the baby next episode, and then we got to name the parents. Mm-hmm both the parents so guys make sure make sure if you do not know how you get to name a dino is you gotta a be a subscriber very easy just click that button and comment down below and you do have a chance you have a chance to get your name suggestion chose for a dino anyway guys on that note thank you oh so much oh 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 oh, oh do it i want that one. Oh my, no no there we go there we go all right, guys, thank you oh so much for watching. Please remember, show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and peace out.